What's up YouTube Jason Wardrop here and in this video I'm going to break down how to create Instagram story ads So if you are a complete beginner I'm gonna go through and show you how you can actually become an expert in just one video And if you guys are brand new here to the channel if you guys subscribe Like this video and comment down below if you guys comment Instagram story ads Then I will share with you my Facebook and Instagram ads mini course 100% for free just as a special bonus here for watching this video. So anyway, let's just jump into this. I'm going to just break down and show you guys exactly how to create these story ads, how the tools I use, the free tools that I use to go through and create the actual images or the videos and all that stuff. But before we dive into all that, let's break down what an Instagram story ad even is. So if you look at this picture right here, when you're on Instagram, up here at the very top, this is where your friend's stories are going to be, right? And so as you're clicking on these and you're watching these you're gonna be clicking next 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 to go kind of watch through the stories and then ads will pop up as you're clicking through all those stories right now you've probably already seen these Instagram ad stories so you probably know exactly what I'm talking about for those of you guys who have not seen them yet and are not really sure what I'm talking about that's what those are so the nice thing about it is when you jump on Instagram or someone else jumps on Instagram if you're not like a big Instagram person there these ads are right here at the very top so the first thing a lot of people do is they click on those stories because it's right there at the very top and they don't have to go through and scroll down the newsfeed to see these ads and these are clicking through these ads will just go through and pop up so that's a huge benefit right there now one thing I wanted to break down really quick and show you guys um, what not to do when it comes to story ads now this is actually a good example see how there is just he's got like it looks like a video or an image right here and it says swipe up to watch the demo so there's hardly any words right here and it's just very quick and concise because as people are watching stories they're just clicking tapping through them super fast and so you need to ca capture their attention super quick I've seen some Instagram story ads before where they, they've got like this paragraph of text and nobody's gonna watch that right nobody's gonna go sit there and read through it and see what's going on so it's got to be like three to five words get to the point quick and if it's a video versus an image just make sure you get to the point quick so that you can actually capture the attention and get them to do whatever you want them to do so anyway I just wanted to cover this really quick before we actually dive into the creation of these ads and one resource that I'll also include in the the Facebook ads and Instagram ads mini course for you guys if you guys comment down below and give this video a thumbs up is um, the Facebook and Instagram ad spec so this is for Instagram stories right here so every single ad placement so whether you're posting on the Instagram newsfeed Instagram stories Facebook newsfeed the right hand column wherever it is they all have different specs that you have to abide by so the image is gonna be a certain size or the video can only be a certain amount of time and so right here this is the image Instagram the, the Instagram stories breakdown okay so you can kind of see the tech requirements you can see the image ratios 9 by 16 16 by 9 4 by 5 and it says image may consist of more than 20% um, that consists of more than 20% text may experience reduced delivery because they don't want like a ton of text on the images and that's why I went back and showed you guys that one example of just having minimal text because they want it to be more of that social environment that that image based platform right so coming down here you can see the maximum image ratio you can see the video duration in seconds it only can be 60 seconds long if it's longer than 60 seconds they won't let you advertise on Instagram stories okay and so then it kind of breaks down and shows you all of the um, objectives that it that supports in the call to actions but we're not going to get into that right now we're going to touch that when we go in and set up an actual um, Instagram advertising campaign so with that said let's jump over here and right here on the Facebook Ads Manager this is where we're going to create our all of our Instagram ads okay so it's the same place Facebook bought Instagram for like over a billion dollars a couple years back and now they've just basically migrated all of the advertising tools into the Facebook Ads Manager to make it simple and easy for you as a business owner. So what we're going to do to go set this up is we're going to first click on Create Campaign here. So this is a demo account I've got for you guys. So we'll click on Create, and then we'll just hit Start over here. So this marketing objective, this is really important and Facebook and Instagram, when I say Facebook, it's basically Instagram, it's the same thing, right? 
they have so much data on all their users that based on the marketing objective that you choose they will know who they should show your ads to first right so if you're gonna do a video they know which people are more likely to actually watch a video on Instagram watch a video on Facebook if you're doing the messaging one if you do all these ones traffic they know which people are more likely to click to your website and engagement more likely to like or comment on a post all those different things so for this one let's just do traffic so that's getting people to see your ad and then swipe up or click on it or whatever and go to your website your blog whatever you're using right so that's really important to go through and see what marketing objective you actually want because I work with a lot of business owners and they'll want to be generating leads someone's name phone or email address but they'll choose an engagement campaign which is really based around getting just likes comments and shares so it really you know it, it's not the same as getting an actual lead okay because the like comment and share that those are, are not leads um, it's good to get that engagement and that social proof but it's more of a vanity metric right so we'll click on traffic right here and then we'll just call this demo Instagram story campaign okay then we'll click continue and so this part now this is the ad set level so the campaign is like what's your objective like what do you want to accomplish with this advertising campaign so then here at the ad set level this is where we're gonna choose the audience that you want to target so male or female what are their interests all those different things and then this is also actually where we're gonna tell Facebook that we want to place our ad on Instagram and more specifically on the Instagram stories platform okay so right here we could just say um, we'll get the, the name we'll say Instagram or we'll just say IG story and then demo okay so now we'll come down here and as far as the, the website the traffic you can just leave this you don't need to mess with this over here on this audience size you can see how many people potentially are reached how many people are estimated to be reached that day how many link clicks how many people are going to click to your website and all that which this is completely just an estimation this really depends on how good your ads are your ad copy how enticing it is to that audience that you're targeting but you can see this is 230 million because we're targeting everyone in the United States ages 18 to 65 now if you have a local business this is really what you want to do and I, I work with a lot of local business owners you want to come down here for locations instead of everyone in this location you want just people who live in this location okay if you if you have a restaurant or something like that then you can do everyone in this location but typically if you're like a dentist chiropractor real estate agent loan officer anything like that you just want people who live in that location because somebody just passing through and visiting they're not going to go to you right so you want just people who live in the location instead of the United States you pick your exact city so we can say Orlando Florida and then you can go through and see okay I want a 25 mile radius or want a 5 mile radius or 10 mile like you choose how broad of an audience that you want to target so like if you're a restaurant you probably want to go through and the 10 mile radius is the smallest but a lot of times people won't drive 10 miles to go to a restaurant so what you can do is click right here and just put current city only okay which Orlando is a fairly big city so it's got a 1 million people still but it depending on what business you're in if people are willing to go drive like for example if you're a real estate agent you know 10 miles really is not that far to go through and check out a new home in the area and so you can go through and just change this out instead of saying current city We'll say cities with a we'll go 15 mile radius okay so that upped it to 1.4 million right here and then you can see the daily results the reach and all that stuff right here now coming down based on what your ideal target demographic is and this is kind of like a general um, video on Instagram story ads right so I don't know specifically what your your demographic is but think about who your ideal target customer would be okay and then based on that you want to choose the age range that would connect with those people now one common misconception that I hear a lot is people think that older people are not on Instagram okay now that might have been a thing of the past but nowadays there's people of every age on Instagram so really it doesn't matter if you're going up to 65 and the nice thing about Facebook's advertising platform is the broader your audience okay the less specifics that you give it it actually works a lot better 
Okay, so the broader that you leave this, if you don't go through and just go and like say, hey, I only want people 25 to 30, it, it's able to go through and identify who's actually converting more or clicking on your ad. And then by that, it's going to show it to more people that look just like that person, that are very similar to that person because they know the better results that you're getting with the Instagram advertising platform, the more money you're going to continue to spend. So if you're making money and you're having good success, you're going to continue to spend and obviously that's the way Facebook goes and makes their money. All right, so now coming down here, you can choose the gender, languages, detailed targeting. Now, this is something like if you've got a local business, I wouldn't really mess with the detailed targeting. I'd leave it pretty open-ended because what Facebook does, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, they're able to go through and identify the types of people who are already clicking on your ad and they just tailor it to more people or send it to more people that are very similar. They've got similar behaviors, interests, likes, all that stuff, similar age groups. So I like a lot of time likes to just leave this open and, um, and and it just I've seen a lot better results with that. But if you want to come in here and target different um, behaviors or anything like that, like maybe you want to target people that like basketball, right? And you can see, okay, um, interest basketball, National Basketball Association. So you click on that. And then it drops it down to 470,000 people from the 1.4 million. Okay, so then you go in here and if you wanted to exclude people, like let's say I don't want anybody that likes baseball. Okay, you can go through and say, hey, I want people that like basketball that live in Orlando but that don't like baseball, right? Like I don't know what business that would really pertain to but you kind of get the idea. And then you could also say, I want people that like basketball and then narrow the audience and say, I also want people that like football right there. So they like basketball, they like football, but they don't like baseball. And you can see how this gets super narrow, super targeted right here of just 10,000 people. And so that's a very, very small demographic. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't know what business you'd be in that you'd want to target basketball and football, but not baseball. But you kind of get the idea. You can go through and choose the interests. You can also say they, they must like this and also this to kind of narrow that audience or you can even exclude certain people. So a lot of times what I like to do is tell my real estate agents that I work with that as they're going through and they're setting the, their ad campaigns up, they don't want to necessarily show their ads to other real estate agents. So when they're going through and setting things up, I tell them, hey, come in here, click exclude and then type in real estate agent. Okay, and then you see real estate agent broker, real estate agent directory. You can choose some of these. And then, um, so we'll just say real estate agent. So, so you kind of like exclude some of these people. So now you can see it drops down dramatically uh, because you don't want other agents or other people that are your competitors clicking on your ads, right? It just doesn't make sense. They're going to click it, you're going to pay for it, and then it's not going to be an actual lead for you. Okay, so now coming down here. This is where we get into the actual Instagram stories portion of the um, training. Okay, so up until this point, it's like whether you're advertising on Facebook or Instagram, it's pretty much the same. Now, the placements right here, Facebook says the automatic placements is recommended. Now, what that means is it's going to go through and show your ads on Facebook and the newsfeed, the right hand column on uh, Facebook Messenger, on Instagram newsfeed, Instagram stories, all these different platforms, which I don't always recommend that. It depends on the advertising campaign you're going through and creating. But if you want to go through and specifically only show your ad on the Instagram Stories platform, which is good to kind of like know and understand that from the get go, because if you look at these image specs and even the video specs right here, like you can only have a 60 second video on your Instagram Stories, whereas on a Facebook news feed, you can have a much longer video. Right, and same thing with the image size. Like, this is the image, it's going to cover up the whole phone. That's going to be very different than what the image is going to look like on a Facebook or mobile newsfeed or even it within your Instagram newsfeed. Right, so that's where I don't always like to go with the recommended because your ad type and what the ad looks like is going to look a lot better if you're saying just the Instagram story. So, we'll come down here and we'll click on edit placements. And then what we'll do is we'll actually just come over here and uncheck all of Facebook. Okay, we'll uncheck all of Audience Network and uncheck Messenger, and we'll just say the Instagram Stories right here. 
Okay, and you can see a little bit of a, a view of like what this looks like. And if you want to see the, the media requirements right here, we'll just open that up in a new tab. And this is pretty much the same details and specs that are on this page right here. Okay, so like you can go find other things that like talk about the specs, but I like to use the actual Facebook website because they're gonna have the most up-to-date information because it changes from time to time, right? The Instagram advertising platform and how that all works. So now coming down here, we've got the placements chosen of the Instagram story ads and the device types, you can just leave that. You don't need to mess around with that. You don't need to mess with this. And then coming down here, we choose a budget. Okay, so the budget is really based on your advertising budget. It's not like there's a good, better, best or anything like that. But if you don't have like a huge marketing budget, I would maybe start out with $5 a day. Okay, or if you've got a little bit more money, you can go through, jump up to $10 a day, $20 a day, whatever it might be. But if you're just kind of like getting your feet wet, five bucks a day, that's 150 bucks per month. That's really not a lot of money to go through and invest in advertising to get more exposure for your business. Okay, then coming down here, this is a lot of advanced stuff that really you don't need to get into as a beginning um, Instagram advertiser or even Facebook advertiser. So if we, I'll just explain this really quick right here. See this optimization for ad delivery? So you can pay for link clicks, which means anytime somebody actually clicks on your ad to go to your website, or you can say, I want to pay for landing page views. Now the difference between these two is let's say you're on your mobile phone in a rural area, right? Where you don't got a lot of great service, but you click on somebody's ad and it starts loading the page, but you get frustrated. It takes about three to five seconds. You're like, I'm done with this and you exit out. Well, you just paid for that link click, but there was never a landing page view because they never saw your website. So if you want to get more detailed analytics and know exactly everyone who not only clicks on the ad, but actually the page loads and they see your website, then you want to go with landing page views. Now the impressions and daily unique reach, I never use these when I'm click doing a clicks to website campaign. So I would just completely forget those. But the link clicks or the landing page views, those are the differences. And so it, you're going to get a lot more link clicks for your budget at a lower cost, but the landing page views are going to be a lot higher quality. So a lot of times I like to just choose the landing page views. So we'll choose that and then we will just leave all this stuff as is. We don't really need to mess with this, but you can see based on our budget, based on the landing page views, it gives you the estimated daily results, the potential reach, and we will hit continue. Okay, so now at this point, this is where we're going to actually go through and create this story ad. All right, and I'm going to show you guys some free tools that you can go through and use to be able to create really nice professionally designed images even if you're not a designer. I'm not a designer, I'm a marketer, but I use this tool to go through and make really nice looking images. So, for this one, we're just going to do a single image. Now, you could do a video, and if you're shooting the video, make sure with your phone, you're not shooting it like this because everyone on Instagram is is looking through Instagram like this. And so make sure your camera on your phone is vertical. Okay, so make sure it's going like this and so that your story is actually going to look good. It's not going to be a little horizontal box. Okay, so for this one, we're going to go through, we're going to choose the Facebook page where you can go through. If you don't have your Instagram account linked, you can just advertise from your Facebook page. But you can see right here, I've got my Instagram account um, actually added on here so that it'll be from my Instagram account. So going down here, like I said, guys, we've got the single image, single video, the carousel. This could be like multiple videos or images, but just for this example, we're going to use the single image. And the same thing would go for the single video, but like I said, shoot it horizontal or shoot it vertically, not horizontal. So coming down here, we need to choose an image to go through and upload, right? So if we come back over here to the Instagram story specs says the maximum image ratio is 9 by 16. So you can see you want the image to be, you know, just like fitting into your phone right here. So what I use is a tool called Canva. Okay, so C-A-N-V-A.com. It's 100% free. It's easy to use. They There's only like paid upgrades of like different images that you could use in there. But if you're using your own images, 
it really doesn't matter now the nice thing about canva even for any other facebook advertising or social posts or anything that you're doing and creating they've got all these pre-built um pixel dimensions of all of these different posts like a youtube thumbnail facebook ad facebook post and you've got all these other ones like a facebook app documents blogging ebooks marketing materials social media email headers now unfortunately they don't have one specific to instagram stories but what I like to do, and that's why I use this page right here. So they've got nine by sixteen and sixteen by nine right here. Okay. So what I like to do is come over here. So I'll come up here and click on use custom dimensions. And then right here, this is where you can put the width and the height, which it's saying nine by sixteen. So what I'll do a lot of times is just go nine hundred by sixteen hundred, just so it's like a bigger image, and I've got I can actually see what I'm working with, right? And it's a higher quality. All that stuff then we just hit design and then look at this it's gonna create a 9 by 16 image that looks just like your phone that you can go through and create right so you can come in here you can give it a background you know like that you can come in here upload images so like let's say we've got like the secrets training or something like that you can make that black and then um, you can come in here you know you just see how you can start adding stuff right and so um, if you want to go through and add text or whatever it is You come in here. They've got all these different text options where you can come in here and say okay. I want you know brunch or uh, swipe up Now or something like that or like if you want to just go through and use an image You can upload that and this is one from my video that I shot yesterday And so you can just go through and use that and get creative with how you want to do it but remember as we go back and look at this other ad I showed at the very beginning of this training This is kind of the style you want it to be like very simple and basic and then like three to five words If you're gonna have words on it to keep it simple and eye-catching because remember people are gonna be tapping through these stories fairly quickly And so you want to be able to capture their attention quickly and get straight to the point All right, so jump back over here Let's just go and download this. Let's say this is what we want right there obviously or maybe we'll come down here and we'll say swipe up okay so obviously this isn't super compelling because it's just like I'm not telling what it is it's like secret swipe up boom I'm looking like oh I'm surprised right and so we'll click download right here download that it's gonna go through and download to our desktop and then from here we can just go over here and upload it I'll just drag this to my desktop right there and we can upload it right here to the images so we've got right here swipe up now the secrets and then you just add a link to the website so you can see right here this is exactly what it's gonna look like it's gonna have the timer up here at the top swipe up so see how this swipe up right there in the learn more you probably want to add the swipe up a little bit higher because you can't really see it because the learn more is right there so I would probably like secrets swipe up and then that's it the nice thing is like that kind of does create a little bit of a curiosity of like okay there's secrets this guy's looking like he's like surprised it's telling me to swipe up you might get people to swipe up but at the same time they're probably not going to be the highest quality of people swiping up to your website so now from here let's just say Google's our website you type in Google you put it in right there and then you can say Instead of it saying learn more right here You can change the call to action which that was what we were showing you a little bit earlier on the supportive or the call to actions right here You have all the different options So we can come in here learn more contact us download get offer I usually like learn more for pretty much everything no matter what I'm using I like to use learn more So anyway, so this is basically it as far as the text goes. You don't really need to add text I would just leave the text in the the image right here so now coming down here after this like as far as the overlay you don't really need to mess around with that um, the Facebook piece all this stuff you are just ready to hit confirm purchase you hit confirm and that's it you're done you've gone through you've created your ad so I'll just hit confirm just to show you guys exactly what this looks like so it says confirm your items this may take a few seconds and then once it loads right here I'm actually gonna turn this off because I don't want it to actually run because it's just a demo right uh, but we can go through and we can see the different analytics of how it's working as soon as this finishes publishing So I'm gonna actually turn this off But you can see the campaign so this is the obje objective of we wanted to get the landing page views people to click to our website, right? 
and then we click on this we can see the ad set so these are the people that we were targeting we targeted five bucks per day okay and the schedule is starting today and ongoing and we can see kind of like the reach impressions and you can even change up here what you're really like looking at right I usually like to just leave it at the performance the basic one but then we can even click in here and see how each individual ad is performing so if we wanted to create another ad just like this with the same targeting same everything we would just come in here and click on duplicate and it would be the same campaign with the same targeting and we would just hit duplicate and we could go through and create another ad so we wanted to test out a different image maybe move this image up maybe change the picture maybe change the headline the offering the call to action whatever it is we can go through and do that and then we just hit publish and then that would create the next image right so one thing you want to do is make sure that one thing I did not do but you want to make sure that you name these different so you can actually tell which one is what what so all you do is click on this little edit pencil right here so you could say v1 like so version one and then you would say maybe something that would like differentiate it from the next app and then we just hit publish and then this one we maybe name it just version two and then ideally we want to say what differentiates it which obviously I didn't really differentiate anything right there but we just hit publish and that's it guys that is pretty much the basics of Instagram ad stories so if you guys like this video go ahead give it a thumbs up comment down below also if you guys want that free Facebook and Instagram ads mini course that I've got for you drop a comment down below comment Instagram story ads give this video a thumbs up and if you guys found this video helpful make sure you guys subscribe to the channel also turn on notifications because we launch new videos every single week helping you generate more leads make more money and grow your business so with that said guys thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys all later